even Scammer. right now. I, mean, I can't yeah. even function right now, man. We we live in the building right now. And we sitting down with one of the best freestyle artists I've ever encountered. Um, the man can just come up with, with like bars, crazy ass bars, like off the top. Um, I don't know how he memorizes so much stuff. Uh, his brain, bro, you like an elephant. Like, like, like he, he's like he, like he's he's a dope wordsmith for sure. And he's been doing it for a minute. Uh, shout out to our guest right now, P6. Gamer, what's up? Kingsville, we here. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for coming through, man. We appreciate it. I appreciate the love. I appreciate y'all inviting me to come through real, real quick. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. So what we want to definitely talk to you about is, um, of course, uh, your beautiful mind that, that, that you're able to uh, do what you do, but also um, the, the project that you just dropped. Um, can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, love me or leave me alone. Yes, sir. Yeah, basically, the product, the project uh, is is me. Like everybody that know me, know what I've been through. Know a lot of my struggle. A lot of people don't know what I've been through. You know what I mean? But a lot of people that grew up around me, like my homies and shit, they know that's me. Like you know what I mean? Ain't no cap to it. It, it is what it is. It's facts. I mean, it's pretty much my life. Even if it happened to be a song for the ladies, it's not me stepping outside of who I am. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You need to hear it be like, oh, no, that's him. Like, that's really who you be game. Do that just to do that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when we, when you were uh, picking a production for this, uh, like what were some of the things that you had in, or some of the uh, producers you had in mind? Uh, uh, jerk. Definitely. I was just trying to work with everybody at the time. You know what I mean? and stockpiling songs. So at the end of the day, I'm just picking through what I got stockpiled. Uh, definitely P. Jerk, we did gang signs with P. Jerk, Stefan Youngblood, um, who else is on there? Uh, 808 Mob, Jew, Jew Taliban, or something like that. His yeah, name. yeah, Taliban He's Jew. He's on there, uh, Enzo Reds produced a couple beats on there. There's a few producers in the city. Uh, I got signed off, Nick Knox. He's a uh, SoundCloud producer. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you've been um, obviously so James Webb too. I got to shout out Webb. Oh yeah, yeah, he's James tight. Webb. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Webb, now, yeah. now you've been. Uh, it's no secret that you freestyle, but like, um, how would you say your pen game is? I really, I ain't really sat down and wrote no shit or wrote nothing actual pen and pad in a long time. Really sat down and wrote nothing. It's really just going in there. You know what I mean? Or a couple of bars would get stuck in my head, and I'll build off of that in my head. But if it's a, a, a heavy concept for me to grasp, then the pen game is is supreme. You know what I mean? I got stories. I got all kinds of shit. I, any direction with it. You know what I mean? That's tight. And so, like, most of these vibes was easy for you to just, it was just you yeah, getting it, it off. It was just me listening to the beat. Let the beat talk to me for real. You know what I mean? Now, in the, uh... Yeah, he's he must be making fun of me on IG over there. But yeah. what I was gonna say is, um, uh, what was the process? Because I know you said you were stockpiling because you were just working with uh, different producers. But what was your process with like choosing some of these beats? I was uh, gravitated to what's current. You know what I mean? Everybody trending towards trap. So yeah. you know me, yeah. I'm lyrical. Like, I'm real lyrical. Like that's. What we grew up listening to, Jay Z, East Coast rappers, everybody liked the down south, but we gravitated to the East Coast. I don't know if it's just where we was from, because I know certain dudes we went, went to school with right. gravitated other places, you know what I mean? Facts. But I just wanted to go with what's current, you know what I mean, to show them, because I ain't really put no solid project with all original beats out since before I went to jail, you know what I mean? And that was over 10 years ago. Dang. So. Coming back from from that to even just being able to do this, how does it feel? Um, cause this wasn't the first project you put out. You put out um mixtapes as well. Yeah, scamming for beats. And and that you was just like ripping apart yeah, people's. That was popping. <laughs> everything you just heard on the radio, I probably trashed. You know what I mean? Just smashed yeah. it. And and you be going crazy on the IG too. So like, um. What, what what one of the things I wanted to do I wanted to do while you here is get uh we gotta we need to do like a 
a, a big up P6 challenge because like, yo, your Instagram is crazy. Nice. Like you on there uh, every I day. I appreciate like, everybody watching that. Like you know he I mean? get up in the morning, chew a beat. You know what I'm saying? Go to sleep, chew a beat. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and and he'll do some really acapella shit too if you if you ask for it. But like, um, what's what's your motivation with it? It's just my moves. You know what I mean? It, it helped me cope with what I'm going through. It helped it helped me cope with what I'm going through. You know what I mean? So it's it's basically. Based off moods and feelings, you know what I mean? It's more my therapy than anything. Music more like my therapy than anything. When you he was here the first time, you freestyled for like no loud. Yeah, like, I ran out at of least there. 10 hey, minutes. Yeah, bro. no, I was about to say like at least mouth, every beat. I freestyled till you my was mouth fr- stopped yeah. stop working last time. It was like, yo, to do the drop after keep that. going, like, keep going. Let's do the drop. But yeah, yeah. Like, he did not <laughs> miss a beat. It's no, he didn't. Like, this motherfucker was like 18. 20 minutes, like, off the I, top. Like, this nigga gonna mess up one time? Yeah. Nope. Nigga, no. Do, 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 do. I said, this nigga, yeah. motherfucker Kawhi Litter to freestyle it. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? This nigga, right, right, right. <laughs> nigga hey, ain't mess up real. one time. Hey, <laughs> hey um, it, you said this music really be a lot of, like, inspiration for you, you know, motivational, everything like that. Can you, like, can you tell the people that are listening and are, that are that don't know you what what you have been through? Like, I mean, I know you said yeah. it was 10 years ago you was in jail, you got out. Yeah. Like, is that when you really took it serious, or was it before nah, that? No, it was that. It was before that, man. Mm-hmm. I, I took it serious. Like, we been rapping. Like, mm-hmm. when we was kids, me and him, he got tapes from back in the day when we was kids, freestyling on the corner. And we, what, right we're there. 30, right? You got. I'm yeah. 30 now, so, I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm 34. 34? Yeah, yeah, I'm 34. So, yeah, so we've been rapping. You know what I mean? Facts. You was on, what What was the first one you start? first label you started on? Cause I remember we was out. We did our own thing. No, did wasn't you on like, what? There, wasn't there like the? the uh, it was like a local. Oh, you yeah. talking about how Scorching Hot? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah they, that's what it, it, it started with Scorching Hot. Cause like, I was about to say, mm-hmm. but before Scorching Hot, we was just rapping in the hood. We were It wasn't nothing. We was really taking it serious, but we was right. always doing it. You know what I mean? And uh, Joe Beast got signed the aftermath. Wow. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And we were like, yeah. hold up, man. See, that's the story right there. Yeah, I, need, me, I needed that. That's, if, if you listen to the CD, it's the Scorching Hot story on the CD. I go basically in depth for everybody that don't know, you know what I mean, or Facts. try to break it down yeah. as much as I can. And we put our heads together, and uh, it was it was multi, it was like three different labels that was in the hood, you know what I mean, hood, little cash buddy. Right? <laughs> that's it, was, it was like three different labels trying to get with us, you know what I mean? That's we crazy. trying to figure out where we wanted to go. We ended up with Scorching Hot, you know what I mean? That's what's up, Yeah, man. it made some major things happen for the city, you know what I mean? No, it, it really did. Yeah. And, and and to have you here, it's uh, it's one of those it's grateful things, you know, because I'm, go- I'm, go- I'm grateful to be here, bro. I've been through, Do you think? We've been through so much, man. That's what I mean, man. Like, it was 10 years ago. You got it, it, It's just like one of those things, man, just getting – to where you guys are today and and seeing the progress and seeing the progress. No, I want to ask him, do you think music changed? Oh, so like yeah. when you went from yeah. 10 years ago Hell to yeah. now, like Hell when you talk yeah. about Scorching Hot and shit, Hell you, yeah. you think no it question. for the better or do you no comment type shit? I like the music now though. Like okay. I, I like I like different genres of hip hop. So you know what I mean? I like the music now. Right. You know what do I mean? you agree but with like I what think the, it's that's why I so you making it easier for me for real to be honest and you don't I don't got to rap as much, you know what I mean? I, I don't got that's why I, it's so simple to come up with some of these songs, you know what I mean? Or it's just based off how you feel it's just so natural because you don't have to really sit and plot about it before you your every bar had to be the best facts every every, every, every you ain't saying no punch lines no nah, one one you can just holler shit, shit now, now. See, now yeah. you can just holler now you can Lambo. Do that i was just going to say Miami. you, you like, can have you that shit hard whole song a hit real shit that yeah. shit hard as fuck one, one one word one word can make your hook real you can make shit. one word hooks That's and it's it's insane to me and you could, for people, I press my C for to wake up. Oh, oh that this is a oh, Hold on, now what? Flack. This is Flack. This is a this is a big argument that's been going on in the hip hop culture now for about five years. Do you think actual lyricism is going to come back? It's, it got is, to. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people in the trenches trying to bring it back, man. I've been right. hearing that. I'm a, this is what I'm hoping for. Mm-hmm. So these other guys, you can really see what they like. See what it's worth. You know what I mean? Right. But. 
this is what's selling right now. Like, Facts. So that's what everybody gravitating yeah. to. Like, right. this is what's selling. This is what's everybody's gravitating. This is how they relating your message. Like, right now, for me, it's it's on on based based on how I want to relay my message to them. You know what I mean? Right. So you and just, this, and you this is the it. most receptive way to let you get it. My 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 other thing is how we were just talking about how there is lyr lyricism in. Um, uh, with a few artists like, like that are on Cole Dreamville and, yeah, and like yeah, Drake, yeah, J. Cole yeah. and them. But see, you're more of like that street lyricism yeah. as opposed to that. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm saying Nas, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Like so, so you you actually you shed some light and some wisdom on the cats that are walking walking the streets. You know what I mean? That that don't know what they were doing. Where now. Nowadays, the, I find that the lyricism we come across isn't the same type of lyricism that you would be presenting on your on your music, yeah, and yeah, so and and yeah, that's yeah. what I mean by that. It ain't true. true. It ain't right. true. It, it ain't the true. Tr man. It ain't glory. It's glory. No, it's, that the trenches ain't nigga like. But nigga, see, glory. this is this is my point. Nigga, it's hard is, days in that motherfucker, nah, bro. These are the no talk hard days, days bro. This is facts. Yeah, man. Man. Facts. ain't they no good this day. This is facts, bro. My brother just got killed yesterday. I apologize. We drove, I drove him to the hospital in my truck. He died in my car on a ride down there, man. That's man. real live trenches shit. Like, these niggas be talking this shit. They ain't even half of these motherfuckers. Ain't never seen nothing like that. Never been through nothing like that. Like, beat it, man. Yeah. Beat it, man. Yeah. I just for want my up. to recognize what's real. And thank yeah. you. Yeah, Definitely man. Thank you for, thank pulling, you for pulling up, up man. man. I, 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 for sure. I, our condolences. For these 59 you, 50. You hear me? They, yeah. All caps. Yeah. All caps, fitted caps. I mean, they got all cat caps, bed caps, fitted caps. Yeah. What's this bucket okay. caps? Bucket you know what I mean? caps. Yeah. Snap Gucci back. cap, Louis yeah. cap, snap back. Yeah, back. It's the snap cap. <laughs> Man, you, know I mean? you already know anything that the Berg Boys can do for you. Anything that we we from videos to music, just send yeah, it our Man, way. Shout out yeah, King Murray. Sure. You on number like eight or seven on uh, Love Me or Leave Me Alone? You on court cartel? Is he, he's on the cartel track. Yeah, he's on okay. the cartel track, man. Man, that's fantastic, man. I uh, I'm, I really appreciate you coming through. Yeah, let, yeah let we have about the way. We have tons of shit. about the musical no, inspiration. He would have been with us. Yes. He would have been with us right here, right now. You Facts. He'd have been sitting right he here. He'd have been bro. right here with us. Same with us, man. Like what type of shit? Let me ask you: Where you where you uh where you get your inspiration from? Like, in that like. In the game wise, like somebody like like you said, you said Nas. I think I heard Jay Z. Yeah, when I first started rapping, it was like Nas, Jay Z, uh, DMX, the Locks. You know, totally East Coast motivated. But <laughs> when I started growing, listening to Master P, and I listened to all genres. Like that's why I feel like that, it helped me with my styles. Like, cause I could pick. Like I'm gonna go East Coast on this. All right, I'm gonna just sound like something to trap. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. so I could pick and choose. 